How to set up sales tax in QuickBooks. Hey everyone, this is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And I wanted to show you in this video how simple it can be to set up sales tax in QuickBooks. Now, sales tax is uh, a big uh, mess of a tax system, meaning that all different states have different rates and different localities. So you really have to check on if what you're doing or what you're selling uh, is subject to sales tax in your locale or in a different state or city that you may sell to. So that's the first word of caution here is do your research on the sales tax because it can be uh, a mess and really, really hard to do. Now in QuickBooks, it's not that difficult. So what you want to do first is, so let's say you've decided, okay, you know, I'm a local business, I sell something and I have to charge sales tax. Easy enough. So what you do in QuickBooks, first of all, you go up to list, all right? This is sort of like a database, all these different lists. It is sort of like a database that holds information that you're gonna use throughout QuickBooks. So if you go to the item list, and you'll see here, we've got you know all these different things that we bill for on our invoices, uh, in our sales receipts, inventory, non-inventory, service. And you'll see down at the bottom in the sample company file, they have sales tax items. Okay, so there are various uh, sales tax items that were set up for different locales that this sample company sells to and they have to charge sales tax. So when you go into QuickBooks, you're, if you use new company file, you're not gonna have these set up, all right? And so you have to go in and set them up. So what you can do, you can either right click and click new, or you can go down to this item button here and click new. And you have to set up a sales tax item to charge the appropriate sales tax. So you see here, we got the drop down list and we say sales tax item. And let's say this one is a, uh, we'll say Greenville, South Carolina sales tax. All right, since that's where I am from. And description, sales tax, pretty straightforward. And let's say that this rate is 7%. All right, now tax agency that you collect, uh, vendor that you collect for. Now, you're gonna have to set up a new vendor for this. All right, so let's bring this over here and we're gonna say that the vendor name is Department of Revenue, okay? And you can fill in, do all this, uh, say if you have contact, all that information, you can do this, but we're gonna leave this just as the vendor name, Department of Revenue, all right? So there it is, we set up the sales tax, we click OK, and our sales tax item is set up. Now, here's where this comes into play. So let's say that we go to customer and we need to create an invoice, and we're just going to pick Christy Abercrombie, uh, Rock Castle invoice, okay, we got the date, we got all that kind of stuff. Down here is where the tax is gonna show up. So you will have to change this and you're gonna to have to watch depending on where the in invoice is going to or what tax you have to charge. You're gonna to have to change this down here. All right, so let's say the item is concrete slab and the rate, we're gonna say $1,000. All right, and we are going to say that this is taxable and now it will calculate the sales tax. All right, so you do have to, um, you know, when you set up your item for, in this example, concrete slab, it was set to non-taxable. That can always default to taxable if you change it in the setup for that item. Uh, same thing with customers. You can specify what tax goes with the customer. That way it will populate the appropriate tax every time you do an invoice. But just be sure that you make sure all of this information is correct when it goes to a certain customer that has a certain sales tax. That way you don't charge the incorrect amount or to the wrong tax agency, et cetera. So th those are the basics of setting up sales tax in QuickBooks. If you have any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below and I'll see you in the next video.